All right, Aqueduct is all set up. In today's lesson, we're going to start the server. First, let's edit the pubspec.yaml and change the description. Let's call it Aqueduct Dictionary Application. We're going to make a simple dictionary app. Change the author to my username, Sorich. And you're free to email me. My email is studymongolian at gmail.com. I'd actually prefer if you have a question that you ask the question here or on Stack Overflow. That way other people can benefit from the answer and your question. But if you want to email me personally, that's okay too. We're using the Dart SDK version 2.3. That's in this range here. That way of writing the range there is the long way. When you use the little caret, that means greater than or equal to three and less than four. It's just a shorthand way of writing it. The three and four are the major versions. A four would be a breaking change. Dev dependencies are for development. Dependencies are for production. Okay, let's go over and start the server. You can type aqueduct serve. It's starting up and it's going. You can see that it's listening on port 8888 and there are two isolates running. Isolate one and isolate two. An isolate is a thread. You can stop the server by hitting control C or command C. Go over to the bin directory and main.dart. Oh, we edited pubspec.yaml, so we should change that. Hit git dependencies. Okay, you can see here it talks about a config.yaml file. If you go over here, off to the left, you can see config.yaml, it's blank. You could put things there with settings for how to set up your Dart server. Again, we have port 8888. You could change that if you wanted to. We're going to leave the default. If you wanted to use this main.dart file, you'd start with dart bin slash main.dart. And just like the other way of starting it with aqueduct serve, that would start it up. But we're just going to use aqueduct serve. Okay, it's running. Now, let's send a request to the server. You can do that with any browser. Just go to the browser and type localhost and the port number. Ah, we have a file not found, or not found error 404. Why is that? Let's go back over to the live directory and channel.dart. There are a lot of comments. Let's clean those up first. Okay, this top part here, the prepare method, is where we get the log output when we look at it in terminal. This next part, the entry point method, has a router. The router has different routes, and we have one route defined, which is example. Let's go back over to the browser, and add slash example. Refresh, and yes we get some output, just a JSON string. Let's go back over and you can see the, the return value we put there. Let's change that and just write hello world. Let's stop the server with control C and restart. 
If you're on VS Code, don't forget to save the file. IntelliJ saves automatically. Let's refresh. And yes, we get Hello World back. Now let's change the route. Instead of example, let's just do the root route. Restart the server, control C, aqueduct serve. Go back over to the browser. Refresh. Not found because we're not handling the example path anymore. Refresh on the root, and yes, we've got it. All right, that's it for this lesson. In the next lesson, we're going to look at some other ways besides the browser to send HTTP requests.